Welcome and thank you for joining us today for Unified Endpoint Management, Enterprise Support for Mobile Devices and PCs. My name is Raleigh Gould and I will be your moderator for today's event. Our featured speaker is Steve Brazen, Managing Research Director at Enterprise Management Associates. Steve's career at EMA follows 19 years of experience in IT system support, engineering, and management for high technology, telecommunications, and financial institutions. Steve's primary focus areas at EMA include endpoint systems management, desktop virtualization, mobile management, and data center infrastructure management. And before I hand things over to Steve, I did want to take a moment to thank the sponsors of the Unified Endpoint Management Research, Dell Software and Landes Software. And now I'd like to go ahead and turn things over to our featured speaker, Steve Brazen. Steve? Thank you very much, Raleigh. And thank you all for joining us today for our discussion on Unified Endpoint Management. Now, as part of our presentation, I'm delighted to be able to share with you for the first time uh, results from in-depth primary research EMA has recently conducted on the enterprise use of mobile devices and PCs. The intent of this research was to identify how the devices are used to support business processes today, how they are evolving to address the challenges of tomorrow, and to identify where enterprise requirements for the different devices intersect so consolidated management processes can be adopted that simplify the delivery of business services to endpoints without compromising on their security and reliability. Uh, the research results we received were uh, quite extensive, but unfortunately there just isn't enough time to present it all in a half hour webinar, so we had to be very judicious about what we were able to share today. And to give you some idea of what we'll cover, here's a quick look at our agenda. Uh, first, we'll start with a brief discussion on the history and challenges of supporting PCs and mobile devices that has led to the need for a unified management approach. Then we'll dive right into the research and reveal the current and trending uh, adoption rates for, of smartphones, tablets, and PCs. We'll talk about how each of these device types is being used inside businesses today. And then we'll reveal how well organizations are actually achieving security and compliance goals. We'll follow this up with a discussion on the level of support uh, businesses are providing for these devices. And finally, we'll sum it all up with some conclusions. Now, just to be sure we're all talking the same language, here are a few definitions, or at least the context I will be using them in today. All right, I know some of you out there are rolling your eyes right now. We all know the difference between a PC and a mobile device, right? But actually, it's a bit more complex than you think. For example, technically a laptop is a mobile device because it is designed primarily for portability. However, from an IT management perspective, the differences are defined by the operating system, not the form factor. So for example, Windows and Mac devices are considered PCs, all of them. And iOS, Android, Blackberries, Windows RT, and Windows Phone devices are all considered mobile devices because of the, 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 the platforms that they operate on. Also, just to be clear, the term PC sometimes refers specifically to a Windows desktop. And for the purposes of simplifying language, we'll be using PC to reference all Windows, Mac, and Linux desktops and laptops. Now, similarly, the term enterprise can sometimes be interpreted as just referencing large businesses or to refer to the flagship of the Federation. But today, I'll be using it to re refer to organizations of any size. The intent is to contrast the enterprise use or business use or professional use of devices with their consumer use or personal home use of the devices. How employees uh, use business IT resources today has dramatically evolved in just the past year or two and continues to evolve. The introduction of mobile devices coupled with the availability of non-localized services delivered by clouds and virtualization processes have ushered in a fundamental shift in how users relate to IT that is dramat as dramatic as the introduction of the PC was back in the 1980s. No longer content with limitations imposed by their physical devices, End users are now demanding unprecedented access to all business resources from any device and at any location. And they want those services to be easily accessible and immediately available. Enabling this requires organizations to establish a common user experience across all endpoint types 
by unifying device, application, and data management practices. Until recently, the delivery of business IT services was fairly uncomplicated because it was able to standardize processes around a single endpoint platform, Windows. Uh, yes, Macs have been around for a long time too and actually predate Windows. But over the last two decades, enterprise adoption rates of Macs have represented a very small fraction of the market space. Today, nearly all the leading PC uh, management solution suites uh, have extended the standardized processes that they developed for Windows to also support Macs and even Linux PCs. Now, just as PC management processes were being consolidated across those platforms, mobile devices began appearing in the enterprise market, and mobile management solutions were introduced, but along a completely different development path than PCs. Research in Motion introduced the first truly enterprise-targeted mobile device with the release of the BlackBerry smartphone in 2003, which in conjunction with the BlackBerry Enterprise Server, or BEZ server, enabled mobile access to emails, which achieved a, a critical and revolutionary milestone in supporting enterprise workforce mobility. In 2007, however, RIM's dominance of the enterprise mobile market space began to slip as the introduction of the Apple iPhone and Android smartphones delivered alternative mobile methods for email and internet access. These new devices were broadly adopted by home users who brought them into the work environments to help support job requirements. Now, in many cases, enterprises have even adopted Bring Your Own Device or BYOD programs where they subsidize either in part or in whole the, the purchase of the end user's choice of mobile devices, or just allow them to use whatever device they've purchased themselves to be used in the, in, in the business workplace. Now, as the decision to purchase mobile devices shifted from businesses to the end users, a new era in IT development began. Vendors quickly recognized the importance of developing and marketing devices directly to the home consumer rather than to businesses. And today, the consumerization of IT, as it's called, continues to dominate the mobile marketplace, creating numerous challenges for organizations unable to standardize processes for delivering business services. The first mobile device management solutions beyond the BEZ platform were primarily point solutions specifically designed to address security concerns of enterprise mobility. And these uh, products uh, attempted to support the various tablets and smartphones with processes that operated completely separate from traditional PC management. Recognizing that the distribution of and access to business applications and data needs to be consistent regardless of the type of mobile device, concepts in enterprise mobile management were born. Now, no longer constrained solely by the type of physical device, mobile devices being supported, EMM processes are designed to deliver common business IT resources at any time to any mobile device and at any location. Now, this adoption of consolidated application and data delivery services for mobile devices can also be extended to traditional PCs, creating a unified endpoint management support structure. And in just the past two year or two, um, some of the leading client lifecycle management vendors, uh, traditionally supporting PCs, have seized on this powerful direction and either developed or acquired mobile management solutions that would directly integrate with their existing PC management processes to enable this unified endpoint management. Unified endpoint management solutions provide a centralized platform for addressing the device, application, and data support services across both PC and mobile endpoints. A particular focus with these solutions is the availability of security and the uh, distribution of uh, business IT services that are applicable to both classes of, of endpoints. For example, data loss prevention is equally important on all devices that download uh, or access business data, whether it's a mobile device or a PC. And the development of delivery and delivery of uh, common business applications must be universally available on all supported endpoint devices as well. Uh, these unified management processes help to create consistent user experiences across all user and uh, access points that are tailored to support their individual and unique job requirements. Enabling unified endpoint, uh, endpoint management requires an understanding of how devices are being utilized within an organization to identify a common set of requirements that will need to be supported across multiple device types. Where requirements intersect across device types, opportunities are created for enabling common practices. 
To identify where these intersections are occurring, uh, we perform survey-based research on end users that regularly utilize a smartphone, tablet, and or PC as part of their job function. In total, uh, our survey netted more than 500 respondents across all industry segments. Minimum li limits were set for key industry verticals, including finance, education, healthcare, retail, government, and telecommunications, to ensure that a su sufficient uh, representation was there for us to reliably break out the results. Uh, targeted respondents uh, were, were actually all located in North America. Now we'll start our review of the survey results by looking at uh, platform adoptions in each device category. Now, it should be no surprise for that in the in the smartphone uh, market space, uh, Apple iPhones and Android devices continue to dominate uh, the smartphone market as both are also the most popular platforms on the consumer market today. 60% uh, of iPhones and 72% of Android phones were identified as having been selected and purchased personally by the end users. Now, by contrast, 76% of BlackBerry users uh, indicated their devices were given to them by their employers. It's also notable that BlackBerry market uh, continues to be primarily limited to especially large enterprises, as you can see in this chart. Windows phone adoption has seen a modest uptick in the enterprise market this year, but still only accounts for 10% of old overall enterprise use. Since the introduction of the iPad in 2010, Apple has uh, led the tablet market space, no question, and it has no real threats to its dominance. However, uh, although Windows RT devices have only been on the market for half a year, it's already achieved an impressive 13% share of the enterprise market. And when we asked respondents what platform they expected to use a year from now, well, as you can see, Windows RT is expected to grab an additional 10% of the overall enterprise market. Now, if these indications are correct, it would represent the first significant diminishing of Apple's dominance in the tablet market, or at least in the enterprise space. I'm personally skeptical that Apple will see similar losses in the home consumer market. As for PCs, if you follow technology news, you've, you've probably come across an article or two about the increased business adoption of uh, Apple Macs. And indeed, our research data shows that the enterprise PC market share of Macs has doubled from 3.5% to 7% in just the past two years. Now, that's substantial growth, but let's keep this in perspective. Windows deployments still hold 92% of the enterprise market space. And there is no indication that Mac adoption will substantially increase any, fur any further than it already has over the next year. Now, among Windows users, the platform of choice is certainly Windows 7, with 13% of respondents indicating that they have already moved to Windows 8. Uh, interestingly, a quarter of respondents indicated that they are still relying on a Windows XP. Now, okay, I, I know this is off topic here, but for the love of Christmas, if you are still using XP, it is time to move on. XP reaches end of life in April next year, and only half of the XP users in our survey indicated plans to migrate by then, which is really, really kind of scary. Okay, back on track then. This is really uh, uh, an important chart here. In, in fact, if you have only one takeaway from this pre presentation, this should be it. 87% of all business users are reliant on PCs and at least one mobile device today. Now this uh, vast majority, uh, the vast majority of the remainder of these only use a, a PC, that's the 11% of total market share. Um, so all this hype you've been hearing in the media predicting the imminent demise of the PC just isn't true. Mobile devices are supplementing the use of PCs, not replacing them. And this is essential to understand because it provides concrete proof that enterprise resources need to be made available on all device types. Now, the reasons for this broad multi-device adoption comes down to the simple form factors of the devices. Mobile devices are designed specifically to be portable, but they do, not, uh, but they do this by sacrificing the uh, more robust capabilities that are inherent in desktops and laptop PCs, such as larger screen sizes, easy-to-use keyboards, uh, extended battery power, graphics cards, fast CPUs, uh, large storage capacity, and so on. Uh, mobile devices are typically employed when the user needs to perform simple tasks at remote locations. 
and PCs are utilized when more complex tasks require more robust system architectures. The use of mobile devices as a supplement to PCs is not likely to change in the near future, and certainly not until such a time as mobile device capabilities and user experiences on them are comparable with that of, P of a PC. Until then, it is clear organizations must be prepared to su uh, support uh, multiple endpoint device types. Further evidence of this was uh, revealed when we looked at the frequency and ease of use of various applications on each device type. Based on the results, we were uh, able to make some determinations on which applications can be optimally used for each device type. You should note that this chart is nested, so anything that works well on a smartphone is also optimally used on a tablet, and anything that functions well on a tablet will also be easily used on a PC. Of critical note, the uh, standard Office productivity tools, such as Microsoft Office, uh, Excel, and PowerPoint, were identified as being primarily too difficult to use extensively on anything but a PC. Now, this is a critical point of differentiation in the use of PCs versus mobile devices, and is more likely due to the need for a larger screen size real estate than anything else. Email was identified as a critical application for, uh, by more than 90% of respondents, so it is uh, fortunate that it was also determined to be easy to use uh, uh, and, and was broadly available on all three device types. Calendar management was also uh, indicated to be highly available on all devices, but was indicated to be too difficult to manage in, on smartphones in general. Examining security challenges, uh, according to the survey results, one out of every eight mobile devices containing business data is lost or stolen. Smartphones are slightly more often stolen and tablets are more often lost. Uh, interestingly, Apple iPhones and iPads are roughly half as likely to be stolen as either Android or Windows mobile devices. Laptops are not immune from this problem either, as one out of every 20 devices was reported as lost or stolen, and uh, the, the percentage is smaller there, um, more likely because uh, uh, laptops are far more common to be lost or stolen, obviously, than, than desktop machines, which are usually tied down to a, to a, a workspace. Uh, when a device goes missing, uh, not only is all the data on it compromised, but any remote access granted to that device could potentially allow inappropriate access to IT resources inside the business. Now, lock and wipe capabilities are common in, in most MDM solutions, and they can mitigate this risk by, uh, on the mobile devices. But similar features are rarely available for PCs, which is just another example of the inadequate in inequality of management services. More common incidents of uh, data loss, however, occurs when uh, users intentionally or inadvertently distribute files outside the controlled business network. Although some enterprises employ solutions such as secure FTP and proprietary user portals to restrict access to critical data and prevent any unauthorized duplication or transmission, the need for immediate remote access to business information leads end users to more commonly adopt unsecured methods of data sharing. Now, by far the most prolific of these is email, which was identified by 89% of surveyed respondents as a principal method for sharing data. Attaching uh, files with uh, messaging applications also ranked high, as did the use of the cloud service Dropbox, both of which have been proven to be extremely susceptible to security breaches. Also of notable concern is the relatively uh, common practice of copying business data to physical media, such as USB devices taking it completely beyond the control of the business. Across industry verticals, education institutions have by far the worst record in performing unsecured data transfers, with the highest recorded rates of reliance on email, Dropbox, and physical media for data sharing. Although malware, such as viruses, Trojan horses, and spyware are most commonly associated with PCs, smartphones, and tablets, uh, so smartphones and tablets are by no means immune to uh, being targeted by malicious software. No wet malware protection software can completely eliminate the, cha the chance of uh, being affected by malicious software, but they do significantly reduce the incident rates. Uh, for instance, survey respondents who reported running malware protection software were half as likely to have contracted a computer virus as those who were not protected at all. One statistic that jumped out at us as we were reviewing the uh, industry verticals was that 43% of surveyed healthcare professionals indicated they had contracted a virus on their tablet, 
making that particular industry by far the most likely to be targeted for tablet viruses. Just something to keep in mind if you happen to work in healthcare. As a part of the research, we examined uh, the availability of uh, key practices in endpoint management, such as device management, application management, data management, email configuration support, backup and recovery, and a number of other factors. Now, these results were all averaged together to provide an overall indication of the level of IT support provided for each device type in different industries. Government institutions edge out healthcare in providing the broadest PC support while retail and professional services deliver comparably poor uh, administrative support for laptops and desktops. Manufacturing organizations provided the best support for tablets, far outpacing healthcare businesses that have been hyped as leading the mobile rev revolution. Government and professional services appear to be the slowest to adopt tablet support services, and uh, manufacturing also uh, uh, leads in providing smartphone support with uh, financial institutions in a close second position in that market. On average, only half of all PC users surveyed indicated they were completely satisfied uh, with the uh, support they received from their employer. The, number are, uh, the, the numbers are even smaller for uh, mobile businesses, uh, mobile devices, uh, as only 46% of tablet users and only 41% of smartphone users indicated satisfaction with their company's support of their devices. And in evaluating all the survey results, we were left with one inescapable conclusion that really must be recognized. There is currently little, if any, consistency in the delivery of enterprise application, data, and device support services across PC and mobile endpoints. Now, naturally, each individual organization will have its own unique set of requirements, restrictions, and budgetary constraints that will dictate which services will be implemented. But regardless of which standards are adopted, they need to be applied equally to all devices supporting the business. Organizations that deliver applications to PCs but do not support them on mobile devices are limiting the productivity of their employees and reducing the, their business agility in responding to the demands of their respective markets. Although tablet adoption is readily available, uh, is readily increasing, uh, they are being acquired to supplement rather than replace PCs. And there is no indication this is likely to change in the near future. Providing enterprise support for only one device type is clearly no longer a sustainable model for IT. Unifying uh, endpoint management requires a fundamental shift in the way user productivity devices are supported. Rather than focusing on physical devices or individual operating systems, the delivery of applications and data must be abstracted from the endpoint. A centralized management solution should be implemented to serve up applications and data resources consistently to all devices accessed by all the end users in an organization. Now, in this way, IT management processes shift from forcing user devices to conform to enterprise standards towards ensuring the business is delivering optimal and secure services that em uh, empower user productivity. This user-centric approach liberates employees from the constraints and challenges of inconsistent processes for accessing essential IT resources so that they can focus on the more critical tasks of achieving enterprise goals. And on that note, I'd like to uh, turn it back over to Raleigh to guide us through the Q&A. Great. Thank you, Steve. That was really interesting information. If you have any questions, do feel free to log those in the Q&A functionality panel. You should see that in the right-hand column of your screen. I did also want today's audience to know that the full research report will be available in the EMA Research Library this Friday. And EMA will also be dropping its monthly newsletter on Friday as well. So be on the lookout for that, as it will include a link to the report. So without further ado, Steve, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the questions. The first one is, how much adoption of virtualization has there been on PCs and mobile devices? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. Um, both 
Desktop virtualization and application virtualization provide great methods for distributing common business IT services to different types of devices. So they're very relevant to unified endpoint management. Uh, in fact, we dedicated an entire section of the topic in, in the research report. So if that's something you're interested in, you may want to check that out. Uh, in brief, though, our survey results revealed that the use of virtualization processes grew dramatically from 14% of respondents in 2011 to 37% of respondents today. And what's more, 18% of respondents indicated um, they would be adopting virtualization solutions within the next year. So that's incredibly rapid growth. Thank you, Steve. Another question that came in is, who is more likely to buy each device type, employers or employees? Overall, uh, mobile devices were identified as uh, having been purchased by end users uh, more than half the time. Uh, Android devices were the most likely to be purchased by employees with, I think it was 72% of respondents indicating uh, they had bought it themselves. And 60% of iPhone and iPad users indicated that they had bought their own device. BlackBerry devices, however, were overwhelmingly uh, provided by the business with only 24% of users indicating uh, they purchased it themselves. PCs are still being uh, primarily uh, provided by the business, according to 71% of the respondents. Interesting. Thank you. And let's take one more question. Does brand loyalty play a role in device selection? What have you found? Uh, not as much as you'd think. Uh, for example, uh, uh, Android tablet users are slightly more likely to own an iPhone than an Android smartphone. And BlackBerry uh, Playbook users are overwhelmingly more likely to own a Windows smartphone believe it or not. Uh, the most common platform uh, adopt, that were adopted um, by users that own all three device types were Apple iPhone, uh, Apple uh, iPad, and Windows PCs. So there is a, a, still a good deal of heterogeneity out there. Thanks for taking those questions, Steve. And I wanted to thank our audience for joining us today. You will be receiving a follow-up email from EMA tomorrow, and it will include the on-demand playback. And as I mentioned before, be on the lookout for the research report. You can check out the EMA Research Library to access it starting on Friday or in the EMA newsletter. Thanks again for joining us, and enjoy the rest of your day.